Okay, uh, there's a Q&A day. I um, just want to get into this question. 44,000 on Earth today as we speak. And the answer is yes. I know it's because you, the way you look at um, what's going on in Earth today, of course, you got uh, storms that is like going. I mean, you know, they just it's basically catastrophic events going going on throughout the whole throughout the whole earth. Holes all over the place. Um, now, of course, you who's to say exactly who is who? Who cool task? Um, but to say that, you know, are they on the earth today? And the answer is yes. Um, I'm going to read like a few scriptures to understand. Let me show you. Okay. You go to Romans chapter 15. Romans chapter 15. One minute here. Romans 15, verse 12. And again, Isaiah is, you know, in the uh, Isaiah said, There shall be a root of Jesse, and he that shall rise to reign over the Gentiles, and him shall the Gentiles trust. And of course, it's talking about Christ. Now, within that bloodline of Christ, you're going to have 144,000 Judite brothers that will be leaders. Um, now, of course, it's, you know, like I said, there's a question that could be asked in any way you get it. But we you have to understand that there's going to be certain events that happen here on the earth. All right. I just want to read it. So the link that scripture is Isaiah 11 and 10. It should be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people to it shall the Gentiles seek, and this rest shall be glorious. So it's actually linking to Romans 15, 12. Now, I'm showing Christ for a reason. Because those that are in Christ, the, the Hebrew brothers that are in Christ, the brothers will be leaders of the 144,000 that believe in Christ. There's not going to be any other Hebrew brother being one of the leaders. That's not going to happen. All right? So this is how you understand it. I'm going to go to Revelation 7, verse 1. Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. Wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor in the tree and that right now today as we as I'm speaking still intact the wind hasn't uh, caused the earth to become so you understand that that hasn't happened yet to ask the question are the 144,000 in earth today here, but a lot of them haven't been sealed yet. Verse 2 And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. It will be sealed in their foreheads. So, servants. And these servants are considered the 144,000. They're going to be sealed with what you would a head type duty to lead. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed to a thousand. So we understand them. You know, uh, I want to read the whole thing, of course. Just because. At the bottom, at the end of this, you want to there's salvation to those that believe in Christ. 
and, and I'll show you. Make this clear because some people believe that you know you don't have to believe believe in Christ to be one of the one of the leaders of the hundred and forty one thousand, which is false. Seventeen of Revelation seven. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them. You see that? And shall lead them mountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. So that's the main thing we need to understand. We may not know exactly who the 144,000 is that they are. They, they exist today because the children of Israel exist. The seed of them that follow it, which means are they born today in the earth? So they're born and they're, they, they are being sealed as we speak. That's why there's so many catastrophic events going on in the earth. Earthquakes, tornadoes. Uh, you can blame it on a harp or whoever. The most high allows Satan. Okay. You have uh, strange weather in the East Coast. I mean, one day is 20 degrees. The next day is 80. Uh, you, you'll be slipping and sliding on ice one day and, and, and the next pretty much because everything is out of order that's how you understand that they're being sealed as we speak it's just a it's a time timely thing you know it's not something that happens overnight pretty much wanted to kind of like answer that through a few scriptures that popped up uh, in my head of course it didn't person is one of the two <laughs> One of the leaders of Israel, one of the 144,000. And to put it out there, I wasn't going to say anything, but a uh, few people believe I'm one of them. But I don't want to take that office right now. Okay, I just love to be a brother to those of you that need someone interpreting scriptures or things of that nature. So pretty much, I'm done. I just wanted to kind of answer that, and you know. Uh, this can kind of make sense to, to those of you that kind of like had that in your mind as a mystery. Like, well, who, where are they? And, you know, so another thing, let me just say this too, on how you know they, they exist in the earth today. One minute. Let me just pull this real quick. I'm looking for a particular scripture that's in Revelation. Give me a minute. Go to uh, uh see, all this is how you understand that we're at the very end, and you can tell that we're well, you know, I don't see this is written, I don't see that written. To, uh, Revelations 13, verse 8. Revelations 13 and 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the fountain. Now, this scripture right here, let me, let me go back to it. I wanted to read something else. Excuse me, that's the wrong scripture. Let's go to Revelation 17, verse 8. Revelation 17, verse 8. That's what I want. Revelation 17, verse 8. The beast that thou saw was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottom of the pit and go into perdition and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder in, in the book of life from the fountain foundation excuse me of the world the beast that was and is not and yet is this is actually talking about right now so i'm, I'm reading that because we we're the ones that's going to be Wondering whose name is this and wondering if the children of Israel, like the 144,000 are on the earth and 
But this is good because this shows and confirms that, like I said, we don't have too much time left until Christ come back. Um, so, yeah, they, they exist. So I just wanted to put it out there. Of course, I job, but I, I wanted to kind of give out a may go into a full lesson on that with more scriptural um, answers. Uh, so you may, you all may want to look out for that particular live feeds. I may go into in more depth, for, but for right now, do they exist on the earth? 144,000? Yes. Shalom.